Hi, today we're going to show you how to erect a folding hex yurt. Unlike conventional designs, this yurt requires no tape to set up, making it ideal for temporary structures that require easy and quick assembly and dismantling. Here we demo how to unfold the yurts, but first we need to set the foundations, so let's get right into it. First, set up your top frame. If you don't know how to make one, look at our video on how to manufacture a folding hex yurt. Make sure the ground is as flat as possible when picking your setup location. Tie the frame together with some rope or cable ties. Once complete, you are ready to attach your top to the frame. Throw the top over the frame and tuck it neatly into the edges to avoid the top from pulling down onto the frame when stepped on. Tuck the excess top underneath the unit. This is not a critical step, but it makes the yurt look cleaner and also protects the frame from any penetrating moisture. Locate one of the two doors of the folding units. This is easily identifiable with this design by the hole halfway down the right outside panel. The door itself will be sandwiched between the outside and middle panels. Now, go to the opposite side and pull the panel to 90 degrees. Reach to the bottom and grab onto both sides of the panel that you just pulled out. Apply pressure evenly on both sides until they both pop into place. Now, do the same on the other side. The last part is easy. Simply go to the part of the yurt that is still open, reach in, grab the door, and pull it towards you until it folds out flat. Then, do the same on the other side. You have now erected your yurt. This is the only part of the process where you'll need some help. Get a friend to help you take your yurt and put it on top of your top frame. The doors might not fit flush against the frame, but that's okay. We'll fix that in the next step. Push the corner of the non-hinged side of the door against the top frame and hammer in a tent stake to hold it in place, preferably one with a flat side so as not to damage the panel. Then repeat the process on the opposite corner of the door panel. Repeat this process on the other door. This will help hold your yurt firmly in place. If you will be setting up somewhere where it gets very windy, I would recommend using something like a rope halo to secure it properly to the ground. For this unit, we have used a simple door design comprising of two holes that can be tied or locked together with rope or chain. We have also used waterproof shower tape to help seal the edges. Lastly, there will always be a little bit of a hole in the roof. So we recommend taking something like a roof vent or an umbrella or tape to seal it from the rain. Make sure to go inside your unit and check all the corners for any holes where water could leak in. You'll want to seal these with tape. Don't use anything that could compromise the foldability of the unit. The closing of the hex yurt is actually the most difficult part and one that should be done with caution. If you try and force the unit closed, you could end up badly damaging your yurt. So make sure to follow these instructions very carefully. Start with one of the doors, it doesn't matter which one. Open the door completely and grab the left hand corner. Pick it up and fold it over until it is flush with the right side corner. Do the same on the other side. Your yurt should now have a square shape to it. Next, go to one of the corners between the two doors. Again, it doesn't matter which one you start with. Grab the bottom corner and lift it up. Notice how there is a gap in the form of an upside down V. This shape is critical for allowing the yurt to fold. Apply light pressure in the center of the panel at the point where the roof and walls meet. Make sure to do this on the left hand side, which is the panel that does not have the corner that the door closes on. Check to make sure none of the doors open during the last fold. Now pick up the other corner and this time apply pressure to both centers until the panel without the door collapses. 